Here are eight steps to get out of your corona depression. You are watching this video, you clicked on it, you want to feel better and get out of this down. And that's a great first step. Or you are just here to see me. Last week I was down, I was angry all the time and I couldn't turn it off. I didn't have any motivation or inspiration or energy to do anything. Scream out for help in any way you can. Scream it off the rooftops. Go to your best friend, parents, family, anything, anyone that could help. A quick decision without even thinking, I went on Instagram and put in my story that I wasn't doing too well. I screamed out for help and I got so many sweet answers. Say yes and no where it counts. When you're in a down, it's easy to form bad habits. I am eating more unhealthy. My sleeping rhythm is fucked up. Obviously, this doesn't help your mental state. Try to be aware of those small habits and try to change them. It is all in the trying. Trying is enough. Try not to beat yourself up. It is easy and human to beat yourself up over stuff that you cannot do anything about. When you're down, it's easy to fail and easy to not get things done. And that's logical because you're not well. It is okay to fail and it's okay to feel down. Just try to do what you can and that's enough. Take care of yourself. Mental and physical health go hand in hand. They only make each other stronger. A friend of mine went on Instagram and asked people how to stay sane. So one of which was go do something you always wanted to do. And that is a thing that gives a lot of motivation and energy. Take a small step doing it. So if you want to go for a run or want to build up running, just put on your shoes and step outside for one second. Plan in your planning, 15 minutes, half an hour, and maybe extend it over time. But plan to do nothing. Just sit on the couch and stare in front of you, just alone with your thoughts, and do nothing. If this is still too hard, go for a walk or do some exercise. It's all a different kind of meditation. During your life, you will get a lot of advice. The most common thing with advice is that you often have to experience it for yourself before you really get the advice. So almost all advice is useless. So here's my advice. No, I'm kidding. Probably the most known is just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And for some people it is enough when someone screams it at you. But for most people it is not. Especially when you're down or you have a depression. Just doing it is the hardest thing. It's harder to take the first step. It's harder to talk to people. It's harder to take care of yourself. And you're just alone with your thoughts. And it's hard to get out. That's why you don't hear so much about this. If you are watching this and you don't feel this way, Know that there are so many people that are feeling this way and they need your help. I would like to recommend Headspace, a guide to meditation. It is on Netflix right now. It has eight episodes and it's great. It first explains what the meditation is for and then it guides you through that meditation for about 10 minutes. It is awesome works for me I hope you feel better thank you so much for watching please share this video with anyone who needs it and if you have any advice put it down in the comments and maybe it will help somebody if we even helped one person that is good enough like subscribe if you want to and uh, see you next week bye fuck it's cold Ugh.